Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Maximo. I am your hostess Riza Komesu, who had a bum save file. Because of this, I had to restart the game, and because of that, as you can see, I ended up with quite a bit more things. I also ended up buying the foot cheese, as you can see by Maximo's glowing feet. Did that off screen. So, yeah, you can go back to level mul levels multiple times if you like. It's fairly easy to do and fairly convenient if you need to get more coins. So, without further ado, let's go to our second level, Coffin Canyon. And as you can see, now the game is not fucking around. They're gonna be sending stuff at us right away, and it's our job to get rid of it. And unfortunately, I'm doing a bad job at that tonight, I'm really sorry. There is an armor thing right here if you need it. Again, it costs 100 coins, we do not need it, so let's move on. I love Mighty Blow. If you do not have it by now, you need it. Oh shit, 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 shit! You know what? In this game, I really hate birds. Because if they hit you, they will steal your money! Like that! One hit from the flame sword will kill them. Two normal hits kills them, unfortunately. Either way, they're little bird fuckers that I really, 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 really strongly dislike. Can you tell how much I hate them yet? Easy enough to get fairies. Watch out for this, obviously. Doom coin, so we're doing really good. We'll be okay if we die a couple of times. Or game over a couple of times, rather. Now, what a really useful feature is to use the camera to look down, because if you jump too far, you will die! Thankfully, I didn't do that. So, I have to be extremely careful here. Because that guy with the spear is not the only enemy here. I don't have any new abilities, unfortunately. Boy. So, shield throw! Nope. There, I wanted to provoke him to come over here. That is the best way to go about this area because this area has ghosts. You know how much I don't like these guys. There's one down. Two. That leaves one left. But it is all worth it for this treasure. A whole lot of coins. And again, a little bit of percentage towards completion. I'm not going to be 100%ing, but again, I'm going to do my best. Hey, come on. You can also provoke enemies to come to you, a really nice feature. Especially if you're in a little bit of a pickle like I was a little while ago. <laughs> and again, you can replay through these levels multiple times so you can know where enemies are going to come up at you. Of course, some of these levels I'm probably going to record blindly, just for the fun of it. Not that it's a good thing to do, you really shouldn't do it actually, but it's fun. Oh hey, I totally didn't know this was here. What's in here? Awesome, more fire sword. As you can see, the game really is no longer fucking around. By throwing one of these little axe fuckers at us and a bird! I don't like that. But we have just gotten a new ability that Maximo can do the magic bolt. Press triangle twice to fire a magic bolt off like this. However, it takes two points of energy, so use it with caution. And we are showing off the full abilities of the foot cheese. These guys are never going to be able to hurt us again, which is really cool. Because, well, let's face it, it's a useful thing to have. And of course those mimics hit me every time. But no, those are invincible. We have also just got a shield again. Yeah. 
up and be just like a bunny. There's probably gonna be some fan art of Maxwell with bunny ears now, and you know what? That's cool. Link me in. As I get hit by a skull, we continue on to the next part of the area. A part I hate oh so very much. There is a pivotal key item that you get in this area. And as you can see, a whole lot of coins. Those coins are very, very tempting, aren't they? Think about the coins. Uh, that was close. Think about the coins, though. They're on dangerous ground, as is this jewel. But I still somehow got it. There is a way to get those coins without ever going onto the crumbling ground. And we'll get to that in just a minute. In the meantime, let's see if I can get that free life skillfully. Aw, yeah. But yeah, there are a lot of moving platforms in this area, so you want to proceed with extreme caution. I kid you not. This level is being super generous with the swords this time. I wonder what happened. Bye, zombie. <laughs> right, sorry. Got distracted. Normally you have to do an upstrike to kill them, but with the fire sword, you can easily just swipe at them. This door requires a key. I recommend getting one from the last level. Kill everything here. And we have run into the first mystery prize wheel as soon as I kill this zombie. Here we go. Now these can be literally anything in the whole game. So let's see what we get today. Pay 150 coins and we get full health. Well, that was a rip off. Oh well, better luck next time. Mystery coins, one spot, do not respawn, just like most prize wheels. And I almost got hit. <laughs> Another shield rebound, and this is the pivotal item I was talking about. The shield of Midas. Combined with throw... It will pretty much suck in items by using R2, like this. You can also throw the shield in order to collect items from farther away. Which is how we can get those coins back there. I won't bother with those ones right now, because, let's face it, I want to go back. So, see you back at the coins. Aw, oh, yeah, shield the Midas. See? That was easy. Alright, back at the first area thing. And here we are, back at this area. And that was dumb. I knew that was dumb. I knew that was dumb, and I did it anyway. But thanks to the shield of Midas, we can collect the coins with keys and move on. So, as you can tell, this level's gimmick is all the floors crumbling away on it. Thankfully, this floor is not one of them. But you see this path that leads to the next area? Jump for your life! And kill the crow before anything else, because crows are the devil. All right, through the gate and onto danger. I see you up there, you little bastard crow. Well, we actually have to move away from it a little bit before it'll come after us. Uh, camera! Thank you. As you can tell, the camera's just a little bit finicky. Grab the health bag here and get in here. There is an enemy, so be careful. Don't just rush in. Holy shit! <laughs> That scared the crap out of me! <laughs> oh wow, that was great! That scared the crap out of me! <laughs> right, break the glass and secret area back here with enemies. And a treasure chest! I am so glad I got all those extra keys off screen. Because that chest contained coins and a free life. Ha ha ha, I haven't even died once yet. Yes, it is necessary for me to go around killing every area in the game. Every enemy, not every area. 